Hey guys, in this lecture, I'm going to show you how exactly we can integrate the push notifications into your WordPress website. And this is 100% free of cost. So you don't need to pay even a single dollar to anyone in order to integrate this functionality. And push notification really helps you to get connected with your visitors, your customers. And this really helps to increase sales. People come back to your website again and again whenever they get notified through the content that you publish on your WordPress website. So let's get it started. This is the website where we are going to integrate the push notifications. It's basically an e-commerce store and I have just imported the dummy content over here. So firstly, we need to integrate a plugin. Just go on to the plugins and then click on add new. Now in the search box, we need to type one signal. That's all one word. The first plugin is one signal web push notifications by one signal company. It has more than 1 lakh active installations and more than 200 positive reviews. So let's go ahead and we can install and activate this plugin onto our WordPress website. Alright, so the plugin has been successfully installed and activated. And at the very bottom, we can see one signal push. Let's click on it. So this is the configuration screen. Now the first step is we need to create a free account on onesignal.com. So just click on this link or in the new tab. You can simply open onesignal.com. So this is the push notification service that we can use into our WordPress website in order to send push notifications to our customers. So here we can see get started. It's free. Just click on this button and we can create a free account on this website. After successful sign up on onesignal.com, you will be seeing this type of a screen. So in the box, you need to type your website name just like coupon tape. Now, as we are going to set up the push notifications on web browser based, so here you need to select web push and then click on configure your platform. Now here we need to select the second option WordPress plugin or website builder because our website is based on WordPress. Now here you need to select the CMS that is WordPress and then scroll down. Okay. So this is the second point site name again you need to enter your website name that is coupon type or whatever is your website name and here you need to enter your complete website URL make sure your website is SSL protected so just type here HTTPS colon slash slash and then your domain name. Now we need to upload a default icon for the push notifications. So simply click on upload and we can upload an icon from our desktop. This could be any image. All right. And then click on save. Now this is the app ID and API key that we need to paste into our WordPress website. I mean the plugin that we have installed. So just click on copy app ID and let's go back onto the WordPress dashboard. Now under the one signal push notification tab, just go on to this configuration and here we need to paste that app ID. In the same way, go back onto the one signal website, copy this API key, come back to your WordPress and here firstly select everything and then delete and now paste the code. That's all you have to do. Now there are so many other settings also given at the bottom like use the post featured image for the notification icon. So you can customize it as per your requirement. Here we can see the notification title. So here you can change the title if you need. Otherwise you can leave it as it is. It is really not needed to enable this option. It is only for iOS and Android platform. I mean the mobile apps. Now let's scroll down. All the default options are automatically selected. So you don't need to do anything with them. If you would like to write your own custom text in these boxes, you can type over here. Otherwise, I suggest you keep them as default. And at last, scroll down and then we can click on save. So that's all you have to do and you have successfully integrated the push notifications into your WordPress website. Now let's go ahead and we can refresh our home page. Here you go. So at the very bottom you can see this icon, I mean the bell icon, subscribe to notifications. Once you click on it, you have successfully subscribed to this website. So you must have seen this type of pop up on many of the websites, they automatically come. So let's click on allow. And you will again be getting some kind of notifications like you have successfully subscribed to this website. So I hope it was easy for you to understand how to integrate the push notifications into your WordPress website. There are so many things given over here that you can play with like the theme of the uh, bell icon or the position of the icon. 
by default it is bottom right you can make it bottom left size could be a small medium large so that's completely up to you if you would like to customize this text you can write your own otherwise leave them as default so just go ahead integrate this push notification into your wordpress website today thank you very much